Putting the brakes on runaway theft? Kroger got creative with carts. It's usually something where if the cart doesn't go through the checkout, uh, you know, a sensor triggers it to stop. It's one of the many ways retailers are coping with organized retail crime. What we're seeing today are people that are essentially building a business model, stealing from local retailers and reselling those products quickly and rather anonymously online. Jason Brewer of the Retail Industry Leaders Association says Ohio lost $2.1 billion to organized theft in 2019. Indiana lost $1.8 billion, Kentucky $727 million. The level of violence that we're seeing in stores, the brazen theft, the organized theft, uh, is something new. Hamilton County court records show this Ulta store at Rookwood Commons lost $2,600 last month during visits by two women who've also been accused of stealing $3,200 in merchandise from nearby Sephora stores. They come into the store, they have a list, they know what they want to get. Springdale Detective Richie Twazin is one of several investigators who worked with Lowe's and Home Depot to catch this guy. Curtis Burks pleaded guilty in October to three theft charges as part of a plea agreement. And he's 30 years old, 34 arrests, 17 of them were theft related. He's a prolific thief. Twazin accused Burks of stealing $996 in lighting equipment from the Lowe's on East Kemper Road in March. The case took a while to solve because Burks was wearing a mask. And he has a particular tattoo on his arm uh, of praying hands. And in his inmate records, it was a, an exact match. Retail investigators meet regularly with local detectives to compare notes and identify repeat offenders. But it's an uphill fight. Less than 5% of the stolen product ever gets recovered. Mike Combs, director of asset protection for Home Depot, says online marketplaces make recovery tougher. When there is stolen product out there being stolen and resold, it's resold very quickly. That's why retailers are pushing for legislation to make it harder to sell stolen goods under a screen name. If you're shopping online, make sure you're, you're shopping with someone whose brand you trust. Consumers can help by being more skeptical of online bargains. If there's a deal that seems too good to be true, it probably is. It's possible that it's stolen. Who do you think pays for that? We pay for that. Dan Monk, WCPO9, I-10.